Let's now see one of the more useful tools for animation, that is the graph editor, uh, where you can manage the curves of your animation. So before I do that, uh, I want to make a more complex animations. Okay, so now let's open the graph editor from window animation editor graph editor you can also uh, change the visualization of the graph editor by changing the layout of the scene on the left you have uh, some different options uh, you can also split in two three or four different view for example, here you have your perspective. On another window, you can choose the front one. And in this one, you can uh, choose the right one. And you also can create a new perspective. Going to Panel, Perspective, New. For example, in this one, you want to have a close-up on the face. And if you click in the middle, you can manage the size of each window or you can this is really useful when you animate you can choose to have the screen split it in two on top you have your scene view with the animation and below you have the graph editor so let's see how the graph editor works let's select the control and here you can see your animation curve if you want to zoom in the curve just select all the key and press F on the graph editor on the left you have a list of all the attributes so here you can select it one at a time we can select it all together uh, so that we can see all the curves of all the controls or just one at a time so these are the tangents you have more options you can um, choose what type of tangents you want um, for a first phase if you are doing a blocking you will choose the step at mode, step tangents. In this way, the curve segments are flat, horizontal. So the value change from a key to another without degradation, so without the in-betweens of the key. So this is very good for blocking because it's a pose to pose. If you scroll on the time slider, there's no motion in the in-between. So this is the blocking. I just decided the main poses and I set the timing of the movements. Other way to visualize the tangents, we have the linear tangents, this icon here. The linear tangents creates an animation curve as a straight line. So we just have a straight line between a keys and another. And the movement have no variation in the speed. Use for example for the camera movement or if you have to do a walk cycle, where we can use a linear movement for the feet. But usually the most common is spline. The spline tangents creates an animation curve that is smooth between the keys. You also have this handle that allow you to manage and change the curve aspect. For example, you can go to clean each curve by selecting the handles and move it. You can select the handle and with the center click you just move it until you don't create a nice curve. So for the handle, you have some choice. You can have a weighted tangent, so you move it together, or you can split them, clicking on the icon free tangents weight. If you want to adjust a key or move it, you can select the key and to translate, press shift when you move, you will move just left and right or up and down. You can also, for example, if you have to move the entire animation in the time slider, with the drag you select the keys and press in shift, you move your animation in your timeline. Other things that uh, it's good to know is that you can add key on your curve. Go to this icon, insert key to, and with the center click, go on the curve and click and you have a new keyframe if you want to move a keyframe 
Here you can see the stats. 4 means that this key is on frame 4. So you, if you want to move it uh, by, by typing the number of the frame, you can do it. Or you also can change the value. So uh, on this frame we have a value, value of 0 0.14, but you want to change it to 1. Let's also see how to manage the key on the time glider. If you want to move a key on the, on the time glider, just select the key, keep and shift press, you can move it in the time glider. You can also move uh, or manage all the key at the same time, just double click on the time slider, everything turns red, so it means that all the keys are selected. And if you click in the middle where you can see these yellow arrows, you can move left and right the keys. You can also delete them. Um, to delete the key, you select the key and right click, go to delete. If you want to copy a key, just select the key, right click, copy, and go to the frame where you want to copy the key and right click, paste. Another important thing is how to import a sound file on our scene so that we can create, uh, for example, an acting shot following a soundtrack. Uh, let's go to File, Import. Let's uh, keep the file that we need, um, Audio Test. And here we have the visualization of the sound waves on the time slider. And we can also manage it by clicking in the time slider uh, and go to sounds. We can switch it off. This means that you, uh, you don't delay the sound, but you just keep it off. For example, if you just want to uh, focus on the animation and you don't need the sound in that moment, just turn it off from here. And if you have more sound tracks, here you can select the one that you need. You also can open the Tracks Editor by Window, Animation Editor, Tracks Editor. And here you can easily move the entire track and choose from which frame you want that the soundtrack starts. So, for example, we want that the soundtrack starts at frame 1. So, let's move it at frame 1. And if you scroll in the time slider, you can hear the sound. And if you make a play blast, you also have your sounds. So there will be a lot of other things to uh, explain about the my interface, but this should be enough at least to start to do some experiments and some little animations like some basic animations. I will create other tutorials. Uh, I will talk uh, more in details about some tools and some topics. Uh, and if you have some particular requests, just uh, write a comment and I will try to create other videos.